came back into the market in a very big way. What we know now is Wall Street can bring down Main Street. People are seeing this, and those memories of fear are coming back. When you have a 401k or a 403b, those kinds of accounts, they are incredibly susceptible to downturns. The Dow Jones Industrial Average dropped more than 900 points. More than 900 points. There are questions about how to best save for retirement. Part of the problem is confusion. Time keeps on slipping, slipping, slipping into the future. The first rule on investment is don't lose. And the second rule on investment is don't forget the first rule. And that's all the rules there are. Welcome to Safe Money Radio with your host, Brad Pistol. Brad is a retirement and income specialist, primarily serving Springfield, but he's sought after nationally for his expertise in helping people secure their retirements. Mr. Pistol is a licensed life insurance professional in the states of Missouri, Arkansas, and Kansas, and he specializes in working with people who are near retirement and those who have already retired with wealth management, income planning, and asset protection strategies. And now, here to talk with you about securing your retirement, your host, Brad Pistol. Well, hello everyone. Thank you so much for joining us again on Safe Money Radio. We are the longest running financial planning show in the Ozarks. We've been right here on the air every single week since 2010. And this is no different than a lot of times when we have special guests on the show today. We have a very special guest and a great friend of mine, Casey Marks is with us. And so, Casey, thank you so much for joining us today. Well, thanks for having me, Brad. It's a it's an absolute pleasure to be here. Listen, I, I want to tell you guys a little bit about Casey. As you know, we've had a lot of guests on the show, Tom Hegna, Ed Slott, Heather Schreiber, Wade Fowl. Casey, uh, I want to tell you about him because we have, we have a close relationship, different than the other people that have been on the show. And so we've we've done a lot of the same things. We've been a part of some of the same groups and organizations. And I got to watch Casey grow up a little bit. You know, he I'm I'm a few years older than him, and uh, I remember thinking I met Casey. You know, probably it's been ten years at least, Casey. I know. Yeah. And uh, I thought, man, this is a young man that does things the right way. And a lot of people don't. So I remember thinking one day, everyone's going to look up to this young man because he is going to be, he's going to be it. And of course, Casey is who I want to be when I grow up. So I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you a little bit about Casey. Casey is the founder of Crown Haven Wealth in the greater Indianapolis area. He is a fellow certified financial fiduciary. He is a retirement income certified professional, and he's been seen all over the place, CNN, CNBC, Fox Business, Forbes. He, he's done it all. So, Casey, thank you again so much for, for joining us on the show today, and here's what I would love to do as we get started. You have a pretty amazing story. I know we all have a story of how we came into business, and you know I'm a third generation financial professional. My father was in the industry for 52 years. My son's in the industry, but you also have a pretty incredible story that re- that tells how why how and why you got into this business and why safety of finance is so important to you. So I'll shut up and let you go. Tell us about how you got into business. Well, first of all, thank you for that beautiful introduction, but. Um... I I started in the industry. I think to understand why I got into the industry, you have to understand my family and my background. So my father was born in Sparta, Wisconsin, very small town, uh, and he used to shine shoes on Fort McCoy to help his his family uh, meet ends meet. And long story short, he was the first person in his family to get a college education. And then he and my mother had a very difficult time having children, uh, and I was the sole result of their efforts. And Fast forward to my childhood, I grew up in a lower middle class background, but still with Midwestern values. And my dad was a great man, but he was also a very unhealthy man. And when I was three years old, he had cancer. When I was seven years old, he had a heart attack. And when I was 15 years old, he passed away. And due to the way my dad was raised, uh, he was very conservative with his finances. And because of that, we lived below our means which was extremely valuable when he passed away. So he left a fortune to my mom and I, about $350,000 when he passed away. 
And up until that point, he had invested in certificates of deposit. You could get about six, 7% in those days. Yeah. Um, but then at the time that he passed away, uh, those CD rates were no longer attainable. And my mom wasn't sure what to do with her money. So she did what everybody else does. She went down to the local uh, financial advisor that she respected, who was a former baseball coach of mine. And he was the principal at a local Merrill Lynch. And essentially trusted him and said, hey, you know, take care of us. And he said, Jan, I'm going to take care of you. And what ended up happening, long story short, is she lost about 40% in the tech bubble uh, crash. And then in the Great Recession, she lost an, another 40%. And so I was on a totally different path for my life. I was um, studying uh, for a PhD in medicine. That was my goal. Um, but when the Great Recession happened, uh, I realized I needed to take a hold of this and grab a hold of this. So I studied the entire history of finance, the inception of the Federal Reserve, subsequent legislature that was put in place, uh, realized that we have a fundamentally flawed sales system in finance and that Furthermore, 99.9% .9 of advisors are focused on, you know, less than 1% of the population. The rest of them are considered mass affluent delegators. There's a lot of them. They have a little bit of money and they, and they want to work with folks uh, and they respect, you know, um, subject matter expertise, um, you know, a trustworthy person they can work with and exceptional service. Meanwhile, the reason folks like my mom aren't getting help is because, you know, those advisors are not focused on those people. And, and, and people like my mother, they, they don't need just help with investments. They need help with income planning, investments, you know, help reducing their tax burden, long-term health care planning, legacy planning, et cetera, et cetera, which is why you've had all these other guests on talking about these things. Right. And so I thought it would be a very good business model to essentially come into the industry and say, okay, let's start with, because there's not an order of importance, but there's an order of operations. So this, this gets to your second part of the question, which is why do I believe guarantees and safety are so important? If you don't have an income floor in retirement, if you're not independently wealthy, if you don't have 10 million or more, you know, you need to have an income floor in retirement because guess what? Social security and pensions aren't going to cut the mustard for most people. And right. so, you know, if, if you're, if you're not, if you're looking at your investments as a source of income in retirement, you know, and this is like your equities or even real estate, which can be, which can fluctuate with macroeconomic factors or just, you know, world economics, that is not going to be a sustainable and reliable income source for you. And so if you're anybody um, that doesn't fit into that high net worth category, you need to be looking at generating an income floor for yourself. And it's just pragmatic because if you're trying to get to a 95% probability of success in retirement, if you bake in a 3.1% 105-year average of inflation, if you bake in you know, the probability of losses occurring every seven to eight years, which they do, if you bake in you know, the costs of investment, like look, and I know this is a little bit long right now, but we did an analysis over the last 10 years of our clients and and these are clients coming from you know all of the major firms you know and i'm not going to name them all right now but anybody sure. you could think of the average return for that client was 4.83 percent their average fee they were paying to an advisor was one percent the average mutual fund ratio they were paying was 0.53 percent and their potential maximum drawdown was somewhere around 30 yeah. percent so it's like Okay, imagine you have a business called Your Wealth Inc. and you've hired a consultant to uh, generate returns for you. And let's say you've got a million dollar portfolio. On an annualized basis, you can earn $43,800. You're paying somebody $15,000 to get that return for you. At any moment, you can wake up and lose 300 grand. Right. How long would you keep that business going? It's a, it's and a you need to, for, for failure. Yeah, <laughs> for, and you need to, and you need to rely on that uh, to live, because for you're, years. That's right. Yeah, because your 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 job when you when you quit employment, there is no substitute for income, and yeah. the purpose of investing is income for like yeah. ninety nine percent of people. So, I mean, I think knowledge comes from necessity. Yeah. Um, and for me, that that created a passion to educate and help people. 
and create a client-centric approach where we take a, a completely holistic approach to this. And then it's just practical. I mean, and if you look at the academia, um, there, there's no dispute on this. It's yeah. a fundamentally flawed sales system that creates the issues. Yeah. Um, so that's Casey. That's so good. We're going to come back and talk about all those things. And so uh, I tell you what, those of you who are listening, I know you might be listening to Safe Money Radio while you're driving or or at home or working on a project, but you also might be listening to the podcast. Or you might be watching online on YouTube. So whichever way that you're listening right now, we always do this for our guests. We give you a toll-free number. It's 866-780-SAFE. That's 866-780-7233. And it's so powerful what Casey's talking about. He, he did mention one name, Merrill Lynch. And those of you who've listened to the show, maybe you just listened to a, an Ed Slot interview I did. I talk about my father, who was an assistant Merrill Lynch vice president when 01 and 08 happened. And it crushed him. It, it literally... He was completely exposed, and at age 56 and 63, it turned his retirement plan completely upside down. And then things completely changed um, whenever we taught him how to move into safety and guarantees. So if you want to call into the show at any time, you actually can get a copy of my book, Bulletproof, The Safe and Secure Retirement Income Plan, with the forward by Ed Slot, America's IRA expert. We'll give you a copy absolutely free. So just call in anytime, 866-780-7233. There's always someone standing by to take your call. Well, I must take a short break. This is Brad Pistol, and you're listening to Safe Money Radio. Let's pause for some exciting announcements. Business owners, some of you have worked 20 and even 30 years to build your business. You're ready to sell this asset and go into retirement. You don't want to risk or lose any of your hard-earned money. Property owners, have you just sold your property and need to turn that money into lifetime income? How about 401k participants? Have you recently changed jobs or reached age 59 and a half and have a retirement account that you don't want to expose to market loss? If you have money you're counting on for retirement, we can ensure that you sleep at night with our income and wealth preservation planning. Don't gamble your life's work away if you are nearing or in retirement. Take some chips off the table and do something to take the stress out of retirement. Call 866-780-SAFE. That's 866-780-7233. Money, money, money. All right. And you teach me about money then, Mr. Nassim. Firstly, money can increase or decrease in value. Secondly, money is risky, but at a given moment, one has some idea of its worth. Thirdly, money can buy you many things, comfort, luxury, relief from pain, sometimes even life itself. And now you listen to me. And you listen very carefully. Next to the speed of light, which Einstein says is the only absolute in the universe, second only to that I rank money. You're listening to Safe Money Radio. You mean money is the whole thing? Money is the whole thing. You're listening to Safe Money Radio with your host, Brad Pistol. Thank you for tuning in to Safe Money Radio. I am Brad Pistol, a market risk mitigation specialist helping clients with retirement money preservation and income planning. Now, if you weren't with us before the break, we have a very special guest with us on the show today, Casey Marks, founder of Crown Haven Wealth in the greater Indianapolis area. And he's kind of told us a little bit about a story, how he got into business, things that happened in his own family that necessitated his desire for education and to learn about all things financial. And he is one of the top financial professionals in the nation. I, I look up to him. He's a great friend, and I'm so blessed to have him on the show today. But Casey, I tell you what, before the break, we were talking a little bit about income flooring and income planning and why that's so critically important. You know, both you and I, my son Hunter, we've all been through the Retirement Income Certified Professional Program through the American College, and it's it's not debated anymore. Income flooring 
by the use of annuities and guarantees and income riders, it's widely accepted by people with their PhDs. It's talked yep. about everywhere. It's it's no longer debated. It's just, it's not if you should use it, it's how much according yep. to your own needs profile. So let's talk a little bit about income flooring, guarantees and retirement, and why, why that's so important. We're in two completely different parts of the country, and we yep. help clients all across the country. Why is this so important in today's economy? Well, it's important if you want to maintain your standard of living in retirement in a, in a very basic way, right? Um, and I tell this to clients all the time, right? And, and the reason that folks aren't talking about this more often is because of the fundamentally flawed sales system that exists. But if you've got, so outside of real estate, which is a liquid that you have to sell in order to get the utility of your money back and or commodities, same thing, and or cryptocurrency where, you know, it's a nascent industry b- built on very low interest rates that are now people are going to wake up and their money's going to have gone poof. There's like yeah. three places you can put your money. You've got the banking industry, you've got the insurance industry, and you've got the securities industry. And the problem with the financial industry is all these different people are arguing with each other over which is the best. Yeah. None of them are the best. There are pros and cons with each of them, right? So what are the pros and cons of the bank? The pros are that your money is safe, it's liquid, and there's no cost associated with it. The con is that the 105-year average of inflation is 3.1%. What's a pro of an annuity? Your money is safe. It's guaranteed to be safe. You're going to get a nice average return or a nice guaranteed return for the purposes of income, which you can then turn around and create an income floor with. Uh, There's no cost for that for money management. It's inherently probate protected. Um, And what's the con? there is a less liquidity than bucket one or bucket three, right? The banking or the securities industry. Uh, When it comes to stocks, you might be able to get a possible short-term return that is greater than bucket number two, but the con, and it's liquid, but the con is that you can experience significant declines and there's cost associated with it. So when you balance these three properly, like it's just practical. You want to have enough money. If I asked a hundred of my clients, why would you want to have a little bit of your money in the bank? They would say, because I'm going to need a new roof. If I asked them, why would you not want to have all of your money in the bank? They would say, well, inflation. If I said, why would you want to have some of your money in annuities? They would say, because it generates an income floor for me that I can rely on for the rest of my life, which allows me to continue my standard of living. If I said, why would you not want to put all of your money in annuities? They would say, because it's not as liquid as the bank. Yeah. If I ask them, why would you want to have some of your money in the market, et cetera, better returns. So point being is that there is no silver bullet, but unless you have the bank figured out and unless you have the annuity income floor figured out, you really shouldn't be playing over here in the stock market. And the reality for most folks is that they don't have the risk capacity or the ability to handle that risk to be a plan over here in bucket number three. So when we're talking about, you know, you know, the, the need for having annuities in a plan, like you said, it's, it's not debatable anymore. Anybody with a PhD is saying, you know, here's the deal. You've been making 60,000, 80,000, a hundred thousand, whatever you've been making your entire life. When you retire, your social security is going to cover X amount of that. You're probably not going to have a pension. If you want to maintain your standard of living with inflation, you probably should lock that in so that, I mean, it's the same concept as winning the lottery. You look at the lump sum winners versus the pension, the folks that take the annuity option. Yes. Right. It's the same people. And then if you combine that with the financial illiteracy rate in our country, it's like 66%. It's pretty bad. So, I mean, you want to set yourself up for success. And then the other question is, why do you want to overcomplicate it? Yeah. Yeah. Why not just make it simple for yourself? Wouldn't you rather focus on things that matter to you Mm -hmm. rather than corralling a group of professionals or hoping that, you know, or or watching the market all day long? There's so many powerful things to what Casey has just shared with you. If you're listening and you want to know more about this, maybe you've heard the annuity word and you've thought, oh, I've always been told that's terrible. We're actually going to talk about that in our next segment. So come back with us. But I'll tell you, if you listen and not just in one area, obviously you can find any one area where someone can poo poo all over it. I saw someone on television this morning and they are famous for talking about how horrible annuities are. And there's a reason. There's always motivation behind yeah. what they say. And it's money yeah. in their own pocket for what they're pushing you to do instead of the annuity. But PhD educated people uh, all across the country, they, they have all agreed 
annuity income is on the increase, which is why hundreds of billions of dollars go into it every single year. I can tell you this from having experienced this just recently with my own mother. My father passed away unexpected on August 29th of 2022. My mother knew nothing about finances. She fell into the illiteracy category of closer to 100%. Why? Her father or her husband, my father, was a financial advisor. 52 right. years. Why would she need to know anything about guaranteed lifetime income or the market versus the bank versus annuities? But when he passed, she immediately said, what do I do? Deer in the headlights. Thank God my father had three annuities with income riders that passed on to my mother, and he owned life insurance, which was a game changer. As Casey knows, it's a game changer yep. for families who Solved. they don't think it's they don't think it's important until something happens. You know, as soon as you're uninsurable, everyone wants a ton of life insurance. That's yep. the whole thing. It's a yep. life changing thing, and no one ever complains when you hand a half a million dollar tax free check to a family member. The first question almost everyone asks is. Did dad have life insurance? So friends, if you're listening right now and we've piqued your interest and you want to know about how these things work, because maybe your financial professional has never talked to you about any of this. It's just buy and hold or give me your money and let me take care of it. If they're not talking to you about the details of an overall holistic retirement income plan, call someone like myself or like Casey. We're going to have our information on the screen where you can get in touch with us. You can call anytime, 866-780-SAFE. That's 866-780-7233. We will teach you how to, to develop a retirement income plan that will last the rest of your life. And so call us anytime, 866-780-7233. There's someone standing by right now to take your call. Well, I must take a short break. This is Brad Pistole, and you're listening to Safe Money Radio. Let's pause for some exciting announcements. If you were born between 1946 and 1964, you are part of an unprecedented generation of 76 million Americans known as the Baby Boomers. Have you taken steps to secure your retirement future with options to limit the loss of your principal retirement funds from market risk while utilizing key tax advantages? Why not ease the burden of transfer of funds to your heirs and insulate your money from the shocks of an increasingly volatile world economy? Give yourself and your family peace of mind and certainty that your retirement funds may have the opportunity to accumulate without the risk of market loss. So call us now at 866-780-SAFE. That's 866-780-7233. It's time to start being safe. More enlightened than some of my friends. I can guarantee you peace of mind. That's what you told me, Dominic. I can guarantee you peace of mind. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth! You're listening to Safe Money Radio. It's not personal, son. It's strictly business. Are you concerned about long-term care? You're also probably concerned about paying the high cost of long-term care coverage and increasing rates. Some long-term care rates have increased by as much as 40%. Thanks to recent changes made by Congress, you may be able to use non-qualified tax-deferred retirement money to pay for your long-term care tax-free. Some hybrid long-term care annuities or life insurance solutions can even double or triple your funds available for care. If you have non-critical health issues, you should still call us. Some insurance products have simplified underwriting, and a simple telephone interview will determine your qualification. Call us now if you want information on this opportunity to use tax-free money to pay for your long-term care. Our phone number is 866-780-SAFE. That's 866-780-7233. You're listening to Safe Money Radio with your host, Brad Pistol. Welcome back. I'm Brad Pistol, your host of Safe Money Radio. 
I am a capital preservation and strategic income planning specialist working with clients right here in Springfield and Ozark, Missouri. Now, friends, before the break, we're here with with Casey Marks, a financial professional from the greater Indianapolis area, the CEO of Crown Haven Wealth, one of the most powerful uh, up-and-coming financial planners in the United States, a good friend of mine. Casey, I know you're on the radio. You you have a radio program there in Indianapolis area. What's the name of your program? Uh, Retire Shield Radio. Retired, Retire Shield Radio. And again, we're going to put information up about how to get in touch with Casey in case you're in that area. He is the one that you want to talk to. And Casey, I, I, we were talking about a little bit before the break how the annuity word uh, used to be a four-letter word. If, if it was oh, something yeah. your grandfather owned or your great-grandfather, they're like, never buy an annuity. They're so bad. And there's still some people, and sadly so, even celebrities who aren't financial professionals, but they, they act like they're one, who tell people oh, yeah. never ever buy an annuity. They're crap. They're terrible. You know, There's a reason why that is. But there's also a reason why qualified financial professionals and people with their PhDs in economy say they're one of the absolute best tools that must be a part of your retirement income plan. So I know that in 2022, it set near an all-time record, like close to $400 billion in these type of instruments. So I know I personally own six of them. I've owned them for years. I've owned them since the market crash of 08. I know millions and millions of Americans own annuities and guaranteed income products. So talk a little bit about why there's there's uh, the negative stigma, why people say never do it, but what the reality of owning an annuity is like. I know you use them with your clients, so let's talk a little bit about that. Well, yeah, and I use them with myself too. I mean, I've got two myself and I'm 36 years old, right? I'm definitely not using it for income. I'm using it as a bond replacement because there there's, no, there's no interest rate risk and there's no market risk and there's no cost associated with it. And my returns are great. So, um, all right. So why is the financial industry uh, opposed to it? So I I'm going to use uh, an example for my own firm, right? Because we do assets under management as well. So sure. let's say let's say we've got a billion dollars under management and we charge 1%. That's $10 million a year in annualized revenue for a yeah. firm like mine. The average client relationship is seven years because about every seven years uh, a recession happens and people leave that advisor because they blame the advisor and then they get you know the same candy bar with a different wrapper when they walk down the street right because it's yeah. all passive investing in the market I, i'm going to digress so okay um that's 70 million dollars in revenue whether or not the clients win lose draw whatever um, in, in assets under management. Now, if you split that between annuities and AUM, and assuming you do a good job at AUM, and it's over a long-term period of time, like 20 years, that'd be $140 million of revenue for that advisory firm. If you yeah. split that between annuities and you take the average annuity compensation for an advisory firm, you're taking like a 50% pay cut over that 20-year period of time, which is exactly why all of the big firms put a limit on the amount of annuities that their uh, sub agents and their you know licensed professionals can even talk to their clients about and that's also why they rag on them constantly so it's either that or you've got somebody that is ignorant to them and afraid of them which is not acting in a fiduciary capacity or you've got somebody that is only looking out for their own interests they've got only an ria themselves uh, and they just want to charge a fee for service and that's their business model yeah. Um, but honestly, um, unless you are implementing very high level tactical strategies, which requires, and this is in the marketplace, very high level tactical strategies, which require an enormous amount of, of money, uh, an enormous amount of speed, time, energy to get right, which is why Warren Buffett tells folks to buy a standard and poor 500 index fund because nobody has the time, energy, money, et cetera, to do it properly. Right. Um, and but there's a reason Wall Street exists. You just have to have enough money to do it that way, because yeah. um, it costs a lot of money to hire a bunch of Harvard MBAs. So, <laughs> it does. Um, so unless you're doing it really tactically, the only way people at the retail level can get access to hedging strategies that provide bond replacement type returns uh, to prevent to provide a, a hedge against downside risk is to implement. Guess what? An insured account against yeah. the risk they're taking right so i mean but but that's why folks are not talking about it they're afraid of them and it eats into their profit margins 
Yeah. And it's sick. And then they turn around and they say, hey, you know, this annuity guy's getting paid a commission. Guess what? The guy at the bank only knows about you because of your account balance. Yeah. And and and, and the folks that are, are only managing money want to charge a fee the, for, for everything. Yeah. So it's it's everybody is being compensated. The question is, what is best for you? And is it the appropriate tool to achieve the job? And the secret is that individual tools complete individual jobs and the cohesion of those tools is what creates the best plan mm, that's good. and it has to and it has to be completely completely customized for each individual person and you can only get that from an independent fiduciary advisor because they are bound to act in your best interests and they have the entire spectrum of what is available to offer you and they're held to the best practice standard Boy, that Casey, we're going to come to that in our next segment. That's what's so key because um, that's I say this all the time in our industry. Almost anyone can call themselves a fiduciary, and they will if it benefits them. Oh yeah, I'm a fiduciary. It's a buzzword, it, absolutely. But here's why: uh, make sure there's all kinds of designations under the sun when you're working with financial professionals that they can have. It may have taken them an hour to get. It might have taken them six months or two years to get. Um, having gone through the Certified Financial Fiduciary Program and the Re Retirement Income Certified Professional Program, just as Casey has, there's a lot of work, a lot of ongoing CE, a lot of exams to pass, a lot of uh, making sure that background checks that we're doing what we're supposed to do for our yeah. clients at all times. So make sure you're working with someone who's truly certified, not just say they are, but actually ask to see their coursework. Where's the book? Where's the exam? Where's the test you passed? Let me see the plaque on the wall. Just because they say, oh yeah, I'm one of those guys doesn't mean they are. So when we come back, we're going to talk a little bit about um, the Retirement Income Certified Professional Program, why we both chose to do it, um, and, and what that's meant to our practices. So I know that those of you who are listening, you love getting the free information. You can, of course, go to our podcast anytime. If you just turned on the radio and you only heard a snippet of this and you're like, hey, what, what's that all about? Just go to our podcast. Just look up Safe Money Radio with Brad Pistol, or go to YouTube and type in Safe Money Radio or Brad Pistol. I'll have my contact contact information, Casey's contact information there so that you can get in touch with someone who is a professional in this area. You can call us also anytime at 866-780-SAFE. That's 866-780-7233. There's always someone standing by to take your call, and we'll give you our free information, our safe money kit, and a copy of my best-selling book, Bulletproof, The Safe and Secure Retirement Income Plan. Just call anytime at 866-780-7233. Well, I must take a short break. This is Brad Pistole, and you're listening to Safe Money Radio. Let's pause for some exciting announcements. When was the last time you did a beneficiary review on your life insurance and annuity policies? Did you know that many non-qualified joint annuities have incorrect beneficiary designations that completely bypass the joint annuitant from receiving death benefits? Another major mistake made on beneficiary designations can cause your death benefit to be subject to estate taxes or probate. This is something you cannot fix once you die which is why you should call us now for a complimentary review of all life and annuity beneficiary designations. Your loved ones depend on this money. Let's make sure your money goes where it's intended. Our phone number is 866-780-SAFE. That's 866-780-7233. How can I get you to stay? Money. Yeah. We all want money, but there is none on the budget, so tell me why you're really leaving. Money. More well, money, more problems, Stanley. It's Safe Money Radio. Let me ask you this. If I were... Money. <laughs> you're listening to Safe Money Radio with your host, Brad Pistole. 
Thank you for tuning in to Safe Money Radio. I am Brad Pistol, a market risk mitigation specialist helping clients with retirement money preservation and income planning. Now, Casey, uh, before the break, we were talking a little bit about financial designations and certifications, and there's everything under the sun, so much that the average consumer has no idea what the letters mean behind someone's name. There's so many of them. And like Ed Slot, a great friend of mine, will say all the time, make sure you're doing research into what that is. That may be something that they took online and got in an hour to yep. throw some letters behind their name. And it yep. also may be a very distinguished uh, course like through the American College, the Retirement Income Certified Professional course, which is actually nine hours of college credit, takes the average person. They give you 15 months to complete the course. It's not yep. something you do overnight. It goes no. into 18 different specific core retirement income planning areas. And this is what's so uh, interesting. I know you've been in RICP for many, many years. Hunter and I finished our designations in that this last year. What's interesting to me was how often throughout the entire course they kept coming back to these things called annuities. Yep. Income flooring. They went into the specifics of all the different types of annuities and income riders and why they're an essential part of an income floor when all the things that we've talked about previously on the show, someone needs to go back and listen to it. But Tell us a little bit about why you chose to do the RICP, what it's meant to you and your practice, um, and just some of the takeaways from from that. Well, my love is macroeconomics. So I can talk to you until we're blue in the face about modern monetary theory, what, where we're at, why we're at. Why we're, at, why we're at the place we're at, right? So I wanted something that would allow me to practically apply the knowledge that I gather uh, almost constantly um, to help each individual person, right? And and the vision at our at our firm Crown Haven is to be the last advisor you ever need. In order to live up to that vision, we need to be holistic, which means we need to understand how to quarterback multiple areas uh, for our clients. And one of the things that I took away from the RICP that I really loved was that as an advisor, your job is to quarterback different relationships for your clients. And so with our retire shield process, uh, that we trademarked that we used at Crown Haven. Yeah. It's secure income planning, cohesive investment management, advanced tax planning, proactive long-term healthcare planning, and legacy and estate planning. And if I were to ask my clients, would you rather spend your time and energy, uh, which you have a finite amount of, and now you want to spend that on things that matter most to you, you know, meeting different professionals, vetting those professionals, and then hoping those professionals are getting their jobs done? Or would you rather spend that time on hanging out with your grandkids or traveling across the United States or whatever? They would say, I want to focus on what matters most to me. So at our firm, what we did, and I think one of the most powerful things that the RICP allowed me to to wrap my, my hands around was how do we quarterback those relationships with CPAs, estate planning attorneys? How do we bring these other spheres of knowledge into the practice so that we're able to provide that value to folks? Now, the RACP almost seemed, uh, the Retirement Income Certified Professional designation almost seemed like, seemed like an affirmation of all of the work that I had been doing up until that point when I, when I uh, received the designation in 2016. Because, yeah. you know, like you said, about every three pages, they're talking about income flooring and annuities. Yeah. And so, and it wasn't that long ago that it was 90% of the investment community was talking poorly about annuities. And it's amazing how fast that has shifted. Shifted and, quickly. And, and how fast people are kind of sticking their foot in their mouth and going, oh, wait a second, this is pretty good. The people that haven't ever changed their thought process on that are folks like you, our folks like me, our folks like uh, Wade Fowl, who I know you're going to have on your on your show, um, you know the folks that kind of broke the logic behind the four percent withdrawal rule. Absolutely, uh, all of those types. Of, the, the folks that have really looked at the numbers, that have broken this down, that have looked at the the, the value and the validity uh, to creating an income floor for for all of the folks that lost their pensions you know, throughout the 1970s, 80s, 90s, that now have a huge income gap that they need to fill, that they have a fundamental choice, whether or not they want to create that income from something that is inherently volatile and unsafe for which they are being charged a fee on, on a uh, quarterly, you know, biannually or annual basis, or do they want to use a tool explicitly designed to fill that gap? Nine out of 10 people want to use the tool. And, Absolutely. you know, that's, that's what it is. 
But the RICP was incredibly valuable. And it's so important in today's world to have that holistic knowledge because, as you know, we just came off of 2022 where we watched a lot of, I'm sure you did, that all the calls that came in about people's lump sum distributions and they noticed because of what happened with interest rates, they got this notice that their lump sum was going way down. And because they are, like you said, they're busy with their families, they're doing what matters most, they're involved in their churches, their charities, their grandkids. They don't want to go study financial planning all weekend long or watch webinars about all this. They trust their financial professional to make sure they've come up with a plan that's going to protect them from things like a possible loss pension or rising interest rates that lowered their lump sum distribution. I know personally for us, the largest client that called in a $204,000 reduction in their lump sum distribution. You think that doesn't make a difference in your future income plan when you find out your lump sum distribution that you were going to live on is down 200 grand? And it's it's just because of, and it's only because of the Fed raising interest rates. Absolutely. So there better be an alternative plan in place, something with guarantees that because as you've said beautifully and we say every every week on the show, markets are going to go up and they're going to go down. It's never going to change. It's always going to be cyclical up and down. About every seven years, we're going to go through a crash. It's going to last about 18 months and it, timing is everything. That's why the five years before you retire and the five years after are so important to protect any type of downturn in your portfolio because you're about to start taking the money out. And if you take the money out while paying a fee, while the market's going backwards, you're going to be upside down so quickly your head's going to spin. Not to mention taxes. Boy, a whole boy, we could go a whole other show on that, couldn't we? As Ed beautifully says all the time, it's not what you make, it's what you keep that counts. Friends, call us anytime. I know there's a wealth of information here and Casey and I both can be guilty of getting on the spinning wheel and going so fast and people are like, hey, pump the brakes there, Brad, Casey, slow down. I'm at step one. That's okay. That's one reason why we put this on a podcast. We put it on YouTube. You can slow it down. You can pause it. You can rewind it. You can also call our offices and talk to us. We will be happy to slowly, methodically walk you through the steps that are necessary for you to develop a safe and secure retirement income plan for your family. So call us anytime, 866-780-SAFE. That's 866-780-7233. I am in the Ozarks area, the Springfield, Ozark, Missouri region. I work in about a four-state area, but I do have clients all across the country. Casey is in the Indianapolis area, and, and his contact information will be on our YouTube video and you'll hear more about that uh, as you watch this. So call us anytime at 866-780-7233. If you want a copy of my free book, Bulletproof, The Safe and Secure Retirement Income Plan, just tell them that when they when you call in. If you want a copy of our Safe Money Kit that kind of explains how this all works, just tell them. We, we offer free financial consultations to all of our listeners, so call us and request a free consultation. We're happy to get together with you anytime. The number again is 866-780-7233. This is Brad Pistole, your host of Safe Money Radio. I'll be right back after this informative message. Did you know that your Social Security could be much higher depending on what option you choose for claiming your benefit? Social Security income is not as simple as some think. When should you take it? Should you only take your spouse's benefit while you continue to work? Deciding how to receive your Social Security benefit can make your head spin. Don't decide about your retirement without the facts. Call us now and ask for your complimentary Social Security guide at 866-780-SAFE. That's 866-780-7233. The money is yours. The shop is mine. What I need from you is money. We could help each other. How's that? You need money. I need a ride out of here. I'm not running a car service just now, thank you. I'll give you $10,000 to drive me to Paris. You're listening to Safe Money Radio. I fell in love right there. But in Vegas, for a girl like Ginger, love costs money. It's just money. It's made up. Pieces of paper with pictures on it so we don't have to kill each other just to get something to eat. 
me that was money. Now back to more Safe Money Radio with your host, Brad Pistole. Thank you for tuning in to Safe Money Radio. I am Brad Pistole, a market risk mitigation specialist helping clients with retirement money preservation and income planning. Now, Casey, I want to talk about one more thing as we kind of wrap up the show today. And so grateful for you being on with us as a guest. It's an honor to have you on. Uh, I, I enjoy the times we get to see each other. You know, as COVID happened, it kind of slowed down our world where all of us got together nationwide. And now yeah. it seems like it's only once a year. Every other year we get together at our, our annual conference and we get to see each other. And we're normally both speaking. Yeah. So it's waving as we come and go. I wish we got to right. spend more time more time together. But Me here's well. what I want to ask you. And I know it's a loaded question and you could talk about this for an hour, but Here's the thing. We're in this very unique time. We've come off 2022, the seventh worst year in the S&P 500, down 19.4%. Um, we, we've had the NASDAQ drop 33%. Bonds were supposed to you know, be have this inverse relationship, but they everything went down. It was a, it was a sinking sh- ship. The Titanic went down. And now we're in 2023 to, to begin as we're doing this interview in late January. Um, you know, it hasn't changed a lot. We're still in this weird world of what's the Fed going to do? Are interest rates going to go up? How's it going to affect everything else? And at your firm, just like at ours, you represent both sides. You have guaranteed fixed products. You have AUM, uh, assets under management. That's what my son does for us here. And so we, we, we have both and we offer a holistic plan to our clients. But what advice would you give to the average consumer who's who's come through the COVID scare? You know, 2020, the market tanked 35%. It came right back. Then 2022, it went down again, and it's reminding a lot of people of 01 and 08. And here's the thing, though. A lot of those people who remember 01, 08, 20, they're closer to retirement now. Mm-hmm. That's the big, important thing. So mm-hmm. what advice would you have? What comments would you have on where we are economically right now and what a consumer should be paying attention to uh, with the state of everything that's going on in our world? I would advise them to look at history, but not look at history too closely, if that makes sense. So there have been multiple times in history when the market has dropped, it has appeared that there's going to be a new bull market and then it drops further. You can look at the depression for that. You can look at, you know, the 1980s for that. You can look in the 2000s for that. And we're in a very unique point in time. We have geopolitical conflict. We have a ground war in Europe for the first time in 1940, since 1945. We have interest rates rising. We have inflation. The Fed's uh, actions are lagging, right? So we, we have not seen a lot of the impact of that yet. Um, we are watching dominoes fall um, very slowly, but it's very clear to most strategists out there that the base case for the Standard & Poor 500 is somewhere between 3,200 and 3,300 right now. It's trading at 3,800. The reason that it's been trading around there, 3,800 to 4,100 over the, the course of the past you know, couple of months has been, you've got traders that are trying to squeeze the last juice, last little juice out of the, out of the orange as it were. So you've got traders versus strategists. And it's, you know, famously, the stock market was famously called, you know, it's a it's a it's either a voting machine or a weighing machine. And it's a voting machine in the short term, and it's a weighing machine in the long term. You cannot fight gravity. So the advice that I would give folks, especially if they're close to retirement, is ensure that your plan is set up to sustain you now and in the future. And guarantees are an extremely important aspect of that. I would also caution people to not be so sure that just because the market has dropped, because the average client lost, you know, somewhere between 10 and 25% last year, if they were susceptible, you know, to the market, depending on, on whether or not they were linked to NASDAQ type of stocks or Dow Jones industrial type of stocks. Okay. I would, I would, I would argue, be very careful not to expect the same type of of comeback that we saw, you know, in 2020 when the Fed and the Treasury Department did that extraordinary amount of fiscal stimulus and quantitative easing. Um, That is not going to happen again. We are going to be volatile sideways and more than likely we are just going to see a a continued degradation of the market. If you have lost 20% 
if you have lost 15%, if you have lost 10%, the question you should be asking yourself is not how do I get back to even? That's akin to somebody sitting at the blackjack table going, I've lost $100. I need to get my $100 back. I'm going yeah. to stay here at the casino. If you've still got you know, $1,000 in your back pocket, let's, let's maybe not follow bad money with good money, right? Um, so that, that would be my advice to people. And I, I sense a lot of fear out there right now and sure. a lack of action will cost you much more money in the long term than taking action to take control over your financial future. That's good. That's good. Casey, thank you so much for joining us today. It's great having you on the show. You know, our listeners are listening because they want to keep their money safe. There's so many different things that they can do, so many different options that are out there, but a lot of them have been burned and they're looking for ways to provide lifetime income for their families. And that's what we talk about on the show all the time. So friends, if you're listening, if you're on our podcast, or if you don't even know about the podcast, maybe you heard this on the radio and you only heard a small clip, just go to YouTube and look up Brad Pistole, Safe Money Radio, or go to the favorite place that you listen to a podcast. It could be YouTube, Spotify, or Apple Podcast, and look up Safe Money Radio with Brad Pistole. There'll be contact information for myself and for Casey there. It doesn't matter where you're listening. In the United States. If we can't handle it, we're licensed all across the United States. We have colleagues all over the United States that do what we do. So if you want to keep your money safe, if you're looking for a way to create an income floor that will last the rest of your life to go along with other forms of income, it may be a pension, social security, then just give us a call anytime. It's what we specialize in. Both Casey and I are certified financial fiduciaries and retirement income certified professionals. And trust me, you want to work with a qualified financial professional. So call us anytime at 866-780-SAFE. That's 866-780-7233. When you call in, ask for our Safe Money Kit or ask for a copy of either one of my books. I'll be more than happy to give you one absolutely free. And you can come in for a free consultation at any time. Our number again is 866-780-7233. Well, I'm about out of time and I would like to thank you for listening to Safe Money Radio. If you're serious about your financial future, give me a call and together we'll get your retirement savings on the fast track to accumulation while reducing exposure to market losses. Thanks for listening and until next time at the same time, I'm Brad Pistole reminding you to stay safe so you can step into a secure future. Save money radio, your money savings You've been listening to Safe Money Radio with your host, Brad Pistol. Find out how to contractually guarantee that your hard-earned money is safe while avoiding market loss so you can have the retirement that you deserve. Call Brad Pistol now for your complimentary Safe Money book and Safe Money information kit at 866-780-SAFE. That's 866-780-7233. The preceding information does not represent tax, legal, or investment advice. Surrender charges apply to base annuity contracts. Optional lifetime income benefit riders are used to calculate lifetime payments only and are not available for cash surrender or in a death benefit unless specified in the annuity contract. Fees may apply. Annuity guarantees are based on the financial strength and claims paying ability of the insurance company. No information presented today should be acted upon without meeting with a qualified and licensed professional. Obviously, by calling us now, you're just taking the first step towards protecting your retirement. It is important that you read all insurance contract disclosures carefully before making a purchase decision. Rates and returns mentioned on this program may vary based on state availability and are subject to change without notice. 